I mean, Steve Machete, here, here's some advice, dude. Why don't you focus on pl making gameplay videos? I did like that Rampage game you got. Spire action of pocket. That's all he talks about. Can you just focus on gameplay, though? Well, thank you very much for that intro, but I don't think I will. But here's what I will do. I'll stop talking about Cyrax and Otaku for a video, and I'll talk about you. So the two voices you just heard are two members of the Fortune 4 Shooters. One of them is now an ex-member. That would be the loud one. His name is Tanuki Maru, and he was an extremely short-lived member of Fortune 4 Shooters. Now, Tanuki Maru introduced himself to me in the same way he introduces himself to a lot of people. By inserting himself in a situation that has nothing to do with him so that he could be a part of the drama and claim to be a victim. So what he decided to do was come on one of my old videos and defend Wrestling Otaku and their shared love of lollies and lolicon using the same excuse that White Bowser uses, that it's just cartoons and everybody's overreacting. Now, this is normal behavior for Tunuki Maru, because not only is he an outspoken lover of lollies, but he's always ready to jump in and defend his boyfriend wrestling otaku, no matter what, because he loves otaku. But not as much as he loves lollies. And he also has problems talking to children. He stalks and harasses women who have Instagram and TikTok profiles. He sends inappropriate messages and inappropriate videos to them and then hides behind his autism as an excuse for his inappropriate and lewd behavior. He has, in the past, harassed a 15-year-old girl to the point that she had to get her father on the phone with him to tell him to stop, to which he got his own mother on the phone to tell them to stop harassing him because he has Asperger's and is not responsible for his behavior. When questioned about his behavior, he defaults to the standard, well, you have no proof that I've done anything wrong, and he tells people he lives near a middle school, as if that's proof that he couldn't be a predator, not something worrying from someone who acts like him. Y'all motherfuckers, go out of y'all's way to dox people. If you really want to catch a predator, then here's how you do it. You don't fucking dox them. You don't harass them. You don't do any of that. That's right, Tanuki Maru thinks that if you find a predator, just leave them alone. Don't dox them, don't harass them, just leave them alone. But that is an interesting stance, coming from the team that just tried to dox me a few days ago. You're all are fucking hypocrites, every one of you. There is a lot of information about what this guy has done out there. All you have to do is look for it. So. Check out Tanuki Maru and take a good look into what this guy is doing. So how's that Tanuki Maru? Is that a better video than talking about otaku? Thanks for watching guys. Have a good night.